What's going on, Dodgers Nation? Doug McCain here. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. If you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to the Dodgers Nation YouTube channel. For all latest Dodgers news and rumors, you're going to find it right here. So be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, and give me all your takes down below in the comments section. Give me all your takes on the Dodgers signing Blake Trinan down below in the comments section. And for all latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. So we've got some big breaking news about the Dodgers bullpen. Blake Trinan has re-signed with the Los Angeles Dodgers. The Dodgers brought back Blake. Balake, where is Balake at? No Balake here today. My name is Blake. So Blake is back in Dodger blue, and for starters, I love how the deal was announced. So who got the big break? Was it John Heyman? Was it Bob Nightingale? Was it Jeff Passan? No, it was the Los Angeles Dodgers. The Dodgers tweeted out, Welcome back, Blake. The Los Angeles Dodgers have re-signed right-handed pitcher Blake Trinan to a two-year deal through the 2022 season with a team option for the 2023 season. And then a Twitter user by the name of at Grandpa Kirsch responded, Source? Then the Los Angeles Dodgers came back with the Los Los Angeles Dodgers. So if the Dodgers are reporting it, it must be true, right? And then Mark Feinstein, he tweeted out, breakdown of Blake Trinan's contract with the Dodgers, which guarantees $17.5 million and can be worth $24 million if third-year option is exercised. So signing bonus, $4 million, 2021, $6 million, 2022, $6 million, 2023, $8 million club option, $1.5 million buyout. So the first takeaway when you look at this contract is that dollar amount, $17.5 million guaranteed. You have the $4 million signing bonus, then $6 million for 2021, and $6 million for 2022. Now, a few weeks ago, when we were talking about signing Blake Trinan, we were thinking it was going to be something $9 million plus per year, maybe a three-year deal, upwards of $30 plus million dollars. But it turns out the Dodgers got him for $17.5 million guaranteed. They have that $8 million club option. And I think this is great value for Andrew Friedman and the Los Angeles Dodgers. If you see Fleeceman in the streets, hand him his W's because he did it once again. You're getting him for an AAV of about 8.75. And I think if you're the Dodgers, you thought to yourself, look, Brad Hand, the other teams are looking at him. Liam Hendricks, you heard some whispers, the Astros, the Blue Jays. The price tag for him was probably going to be a little too high for Andrew Friedman the Dodgers liking. So they went with Blake Trinan. Still a great deal for Blake, too, because let's be honest, he wasn't outstanding last year. Would he have made an all-star team? I doubt it. But he had a very nice year considering what happened for him in 2019 because he fell off a cliff in 2019 after being the best reliever or at least among the best relievers in the game in 2018. He ended up posting a 3.86 ERA with a 3.15 FIP, a 111 ERA plus, and he pitched more innings than any Dodger reliever this year. He went 25 and two-thirds innings, so he was a real workhorse out of that Dodgers bullpen. Now, he did have some rough appearances against the Colorado Rockies, but for the most part, he was getting it done for the Dodgers all season long. Now, two areas where he really excelled last season was exit velocity and barrel percentage. Last year, the average exit velo off Blake Trinan sat at 84.8 miles per hour. That was top 5% of the league. And then a 1.3% barrel percentage, that was 1% of the league. So really excelled in those two categories, and you saw the evolution in his game. When he was at his most dominant with the A's back in 2018, that K percentage, it was at 31.7%. Last season with the Dodgers, that number sat at 20.6%, which was the second lowest for his entire career. So you definitely want to see a little uptick in that K percentage for the next two seasons, but that two-seamer is one of the best two-seamers coming out of the in all of Major League Baseball. He knows how to induce soft contact with it. It has that elite velo. It has that filthy movement. And when it's on, the way he works the bottom of the zone, he does it better than just about any reliever in the game. So bringing back Blake Trinan, I love the move for the Dodgers. I love the value that they got. They didn't get him for nothing, but considering the year he had last season, consider what he did in the postseason. He pitched 11 and a third innings in the Dodgers postseason, and he came up big in Game 5. It was big game Blake there in Game 5. He steps up, he gets that save, and he gives the Dodgers all that momentum heading into the clincher where they ultimately won their first World Series in 32 years. And I just really like the fire, grit, and determination that he takes to the mound with him. He has that fire. You can't teach that. He definitely has that in spades. And I just love the way he 
he bounce back in the postseason. You saw early in the Braves series, he gives up the home run to Austin Riley there in game one, bounces back to step up big later in that series. Now, what does this move mean as far as the other bullpen pieces? Will this deter the Dodgers from going after Liam Hendricks? To me, I think it probably does. I would say there's a good chance of that, but it also could open up some other signings. Maybe now they have more money to spend on a DJ LeMayhew. That, I think, is a possibility. Where does Justin Turner stand right now? So I think Andrew Friedman, he made the wise move. He brought back Blake Trinan, and you also look far ahead. You have Corey Knable, Blake Trinan. You got Canely. Lots of high-powered arms in that bullpen. And then you've got my man, Bruce Dark Gratterall. So let's say if Bruce Dark Gratterall can increase that K percentage, and maybe he can grow into that closer. And then you have an elite setup guy in Blake Trinan. So I still look at Blake Trinan more as a bridge at this point in his career, but he's shown us that he can get big outs on the big stage. So that's what matters to me. He's postseason certified now for what he did last season. And I think having Blake Trinan, an influx of arm talent there in that Dodgers bullpen, another great example. So I love this move for the Dodgers. Bring back Blake Trinan and then save that money for some position players, guys that can fill in some other holes. And maybe the Dodgers do sign an additional arm. Maybe they offer a deal to Brad Hand on a shorter term deal. I just think everything's on the table right now, considering how many teams around the league are trying to shed payroll, but the Dodgers, they're trying to compete. So they're trying to clean up on all this talent that teams don't either don't want to pay or they want to try to build for the future. So I love the move for the Dodgers, and I, as much as I do love Liam Hendricks, he's a fantastic arm, a dominant pitcher. I trust Andrew Freeman to find bullpen talent. This man can spot bullpen talent out of a window of a moving train, and you know come October, that bullpen is going to have the pieces it needs to defend this title. So as far as grades go, I'm going to give this move a B plus, a B plus for Blake Trinan. Look, you can't spell Blake without L.A. Only reason I'm not giving an A is we haven't seen him pitch a full season. Who knows if he's going to revert back to 2019 when he really struggled. But I really like the move. I like what the Dodgers are doing. I'm really curious to see what other moves Andrew Freeman has up his sleeve. You know Fleeceman is only getting started here in this Dodgers offseason. But let me know down below in the comments. How do you feel about the Blake Trinan signing? Give me your grade. How do you guys feel about the Blake Trinan signing with the Los Angeles Dodgers? Let me know down below in the comments. And if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to the Dodgers Nation YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification button. You're going to find all the latest Dodgers news, rumors, hype videos, interviews, podcasts right here on the Dodgers Nation YouTube channel. And be sure to head over to GearUp.LA. For all the latest Dodgers Nation merch, you're going to find it right over there at GearUp.LA. I'm rocking my Bazooka Bruce Dark Gratterall t-shirt, one of my favorite ones, but some of the best Dodger designs in the game, you're going to find it right over there at GearUp.LA. My name is Doug McCain. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. That's at DMAC underscore LA. And for all the latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. And as always, think blue, bleed blue, and I'm out.